to the CSI Arena and the 2018 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We're hosted here in Las Vegas at Griff's Bar and Billiards, and we are being proudly presented by Q Sports International. Our sponsors for the event include the Rio Hotel and Casino, Simonis, Diamond, Cyclop Falls, Acme Cases, and Predator 1080 Pure Chalk. We're being streamed on playcsipool.com forward slash watch dash live. This is a race to eight, alternate break, rack your own. Right now I'd like to introduce my two opponents for this match. First up home from the United States of America, he's sponsored by Molinari, Hughes, and High Rock. Let's put our hands together for Billy Thorpe. And his opponent from the Philippines, sponsored by Bugsy Promotions. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Dennis Ocuyo. Right now I'd like to turn it over to my esteemed colleagues in the booth, Freddie Ognier and George Teachea. Gentlemen, you may lag for a break. Have a great match, gentlemen. Thank you, John Lehman. George Teachea, Freddie Ognier here. George. Freddie, it looks like he uh, demoted us. <laughs> we, went, we went from excellent to esteemed. That's right. I, I'll take esteemed. What a, what a match we have here. Dennis Orculio and uh, Billy Thorpe. Billy has won the lag. Billy with a 763 Fargo, Dennis with an 810. Gives you an idea. 47 points difference. How far did Dennis get last year in this, uh, this tournament? That is a real good question. Uh, is it, were you, are you testing me? Or, no, uh, no, I, I remember, I, I believe, I, I didn't do the, uh, his, his uh, match against, against Alex, and that might have been his last one. Mm -hmm. Alex, was, Alex won it. But yes, Alex sir. came from the one loss side, I believe. Yeah, that's correct last year. Um, this is the third round winner's match. The first round, both players had a bye. Uh, Billy Thorpe's uh, game was forfeited. Ray Cruz forfeited. Oh. And then uh, Dennis defeated uh, Max Eberle, which is almost like a forfeit, unfortunately. Oh. Eight to one. Here's something interesting here. Billy has racked these balls with a stripe on top. I just can't do that. I agree. I always use the one. I always use the one. And you want to, this is a funny story why I used the one. I used to play when I was 18, 19 years old, I played okay. in the pool hall in Mexico. And the one and the two were different balls than the rest of the clay <laughs> balls. So they had to, rec for, had for playing eight ball, you had to add the one and the two to the set of balls. That's interesting. Because uh, they, for, for uh, what I call Mexican pool, they just use the three ball and then all the numbered balls on the, on the spots. Um, and so, you know, you don't want to be breaking into a clay ball. Interesting, interesting. Now you know how long I've been playing. <laughs> that was a lot of years ago. But a great break here. This 5, 9, and 15 are going to cause problems. This 5, 9, and 15 mess. Once he clears the 4 and the 1, if he takes solids, he's not. He's taking stripes. He yep. might... He may just bump into these balls down there. Got to watch out for careful. the scratch. And he better be careful with bumping balls down here. Yeah. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. No, he hit it with good speed, but... No uh, reward. And he yeah. tied up a ball. Yep, tied up another one. So now he's got two balls tied up. Uh, only shot available that he has is the 13 ball. 13 somewhere. Uh, can he actually unless cut Unless he that? can see the 11. He might be able to see the 11. He might as well move the nine because the the, fifth, the 15 covers that uh, eyeball. Shooting the 13 in the left-hand corner. Or he's banking Bank. the 13 in, in the left-hand corner. And if it hangs up, it's a perfect strategic shot. How does that ball not go in? <laughs> it's a diamond, the diamond shelf. Did you see? I mean, even rock like yes. towards yes. The, the hole, and it still didn't fall in. I've seen that happen on diamond tables a lot. And that is my comment. And question, how does that ball not go in? You see it rock to kind of like go in, it wanted to and rock it doesn't. There. And it's uh, a much, much uh, bigger question when I'm playing. <laughs> how the heck didn't that go in? Because it might cost you a game. 
by hanging the ball, Billy has actually put himself in a good position here because even if those balls down table, the nine ball and the 15, if they're no good, because he's got a hanging ball, he's got a lot of options that he can pocket the ball and break sure. out balls and still be safe or mm -hmm. actually just go ahead and pocket the ball and uh, be aggressive. Or as if that ball wasn't there, let's just say he had ball in the end. He could get out because he's got that 13 hanging. Without the 13 hanging, very difficult. Yeah, he's he's in he's in control. Dennis uh, is going to move something here. Looks like he's going to try to at least he's thinking about at some point rubbing the fifth the five ball and, and pocketing the the thirteen. Mm -hmm. If he wants to, he can't shoot. He, he can shoot the two ball in the corner. Yeah, but um, I, I think he'd rather go ahead and make a move gonna here. Pocket, he's going to pocket the ball, the thirteen ball off the five. Yeah, you know, there's that old. Uh, sort of old adage where an eight ball, don't start running balls if you can't run on the way out. That's right. I mean, there's and a perfect example right there. Billy ended up moving a ball in a great spot. Dennis decided it was too great a position for him to give up, and he had to go ahead and pocket well, that ball. Dennis decided he liked where that ball was, so he put the cue ball there. Yeah. <laughs> it was the warmest spot in the tail. Yeah. And he dead corner hooked him. Yeah. He's giving up the 10, but the 10 where? There's your answer. Another bank, and Billy is a fantastic banker. He's from Dayton, Ohio. I think he's moved now, but uh, he was from Dayton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Great banking area. Still in Dayton. Is that Wells Fargo's uh, headquarters city? <laughs> <laughs> right in that Cincinnati, Dayton area, we had the great Gary Spaeth. The late, great Gary Spaeth, I should say. Mm -hmm and a m bunch of other banking type of guys. Yeah. Sure. Jason Miller, two-time bank champion at Derby City. Jason Miller. Meanwhile, Billy's gonna go ahead and try to run out. Yeah, by ma banking that ball, it gives him an opportunity to do something here, but the nine ball still sits funny. Does he spin this 14 in and come right into the nine? You cut it in the side. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. He's called it. Um, Low left hand English. Spin it in. Just he's coming go right into the him. nine. I don't see why not. He can't Off get this, to it. And there it oh, is. He, and he to does it. get to he it. Got to now it. what? Now he banks this ball on the side and follows it for position on the 15. Or tries to get position on the 15 off the bank shot. Sure. I mean, why not, right? He's already banked everything else. So. Sure. Might as well play three bank shots in one game. But it's pretty powerful to be such a good banker like a couple of these guys here because and he does have he's uh, actually got an opportunity to get out mm -hmm. here. Can he actually get there with the, off the five ball or just through the ball? Oh, yeah, it's, it's really close. Oh, he's going off the far. He's going to slide it just off the bottom rail. There, oh, there he is. Perfect, though. There it is. Oh, is this oh, eight ball? The eight ball is not going to be nice to him here. Well, the eight ball is not mean to him. It didn't move. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can he actually see this ball? Uh, well, we'll see in a second. Yep. Yeah, it was awfully. I mean, it looked like he actually awfully had tight. a shot. Yeah. But it was tight. No, you had. Well, Dennis coming to the table with a combo or a shot on the five. Thin cut for the five, up and down for position, or just bump the 15 ball. And uh, pretty much everything is available here, especially for a player of player his caliber. caliber yeah. yeah. You know, a friend of mine used to always say, someone of his caliper. Caliper? Yeah. Right? I, I yeah. couldn't tell if he was talking about measurements or brake pads. <laughs> I was going to say we could put brake pads on him. <laughs> that way the caliper has something to work with and won't scratch your um, uh, rotors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you have great brakes, you must have good calipers. Should we keep on going with this theme? I don't know. No. The three ball is, I guess, his toughest ball. He's got to get to it. Could be his last ball. You know, it could be his key ball, but it feels like he needs to just go ahead and get that three ball out of the way. Playing for it. 
As long as he doesn't sit on top of the uh, of the rail here to some angle for the four ball after the three ball, he should be no problemo. Mm. You like I my think Spanish there? Problemo. <laughs> you know, I, I I heard someone say, yes, I speak Spanish. I I add an A and an O to every, every word. word. Yeah. And and, <laughs> and Dennis decided to play the four ball and he hung it. That's very strange. It's uncharacteristic. Of his caliper? Of his calipers. <laughs> well, this ball has like half a pocket, and it's already only half a pocket big, these four and a quarter inch. Yeah, and he doesn't have an angle to come back for the eight, so he might just oh, draw this straight back and bank the eight. Or I, play it no, and I follow the four. four. Following the four. Look oh. how far to the left of his face <laughs> he puts that cue. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, really let, let go of his stroke there. But it was a tight shot, so. Yeah, look how far to the left he missed that ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Dennis can see the one ball, he'll play a combination, play for the three mm -hmm. ball. Can he actually see this? It seems like the eight ball's yes. blocking him. If he, yes, he can see it. He can also go rail first. Well, that's true. It looks like you can see the four, too. Um, well, if he, if he plays the three ball, he. he Easily wins the game here. He plays the one four, I guess. He what easily he wins the game there. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's an advantager, but you don't want Billy to be banking against you. Well, that'll do. Calling the four ball, he may brush off the one. He would just probably just uh, come out for the one or stop it there and follow the one and play the, sh play the eight, play position for the eight. He's, he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. He's just going to stop it and then fo uh, follow out. He's pretty straight. Yeah. He's okay. His pockets are He'll tight. He'll hit the enough. bottom rail, then the side rail, and come over to about where the spot is probably if he wants to shoot it that yeah, hard. I don't think so. I think he's going to cinch this ball and then shoot up table. And by Billy putting the 15 ball in the middle of the head rail, it affords him a free shot. Well, it's not free against Billy, but yeah. I mean, for most players, for right? Because you'd hate yeah. to watch Billy shoot a straight back. Did he, um, now he, bank pool champ? Billy is, uh, yeah. he's a. Is he the ring? No, I, I don't, he may be, he may be, but he's a fantastic banker. Right? No question about it. I remember I read off some of his accolades yesterday, and one of them was uh, Derby City Classic. Uh, Derby, yeah, he's won the one pocket at yeah. uh, Derby City. Let's take a look. Maybe a ring game here and there. I mean, the thing is that Dennis has won the banks at, uh, one, at, at the Derby also, but mm -hmm. I think that Billy's favored in the long run. He was first in the Derby City 2018 bank pool ring game. Yep. Yeah, he's won a ring game here. Uh, 28th and 23rd in the nine ball banks division. So he's a banker to be contended with. Well, if the 10 ball goes into the side pocket, really can't tell if it does it or doesn't. That's the, that's the problem ball anyway for the highs. Low balls, everything's a problem for low balls. Could fire in the five ball and rearrange the furniture. I don't think that's gonna be a shot. Surely he's gonna hit the 15. And if he can get to a spot to break out the 10, He'll be off to the races. Well, there it is. He had the spot to break out the 10. He just power drew into the 10 ball. And he's got a shot on the 10. The 9 ball becomes the next toughest ball, but looks like he can play a combination down there. And it'll go, of course, after the first ball, the 10 ball, or whatever the ball is. I've lost my uh, monitor here now. The 12 ball. 
No, the nine ball really doesn't go anywhere no matter what. <laughs> You'll have to negotiate it. From one angle, it, looks like the, it looked like the 9-12 was an easy combination, but from this angle, it doesn't look like it's possible. Mm. Might be. Well, guys, this is a race to eight. And we're playing CSI rules. Jump cues are allowed. What am I leaving out? Alternate break. Rack your own. The final race will be to 10. Our finals, which will be on Tuesday. Dennis really looking a long time here. I can't figure out what he's going to do with his nine ball, but it just looks like he's going to commit to going all the way out. Well, he's trying to get all the way out. He's made up his mind. Dennis Arculio, the man from Suriga, Mindanao in the Philippines. Well, I'm interested to find out what his pattern's going to be. I mean, he put a lot of effort into that, yeah. and not sure where that goes. Well, the 10 is tough, isn't it, into the side? It yeah, okay, little, back to looking at that side pocket and into the, uh, that combination. It is. Well, he's going there now, and then he's going to use the 10 to come down and possibly bank the, I mean, bump the 9. Because I don't see where he can get an angle on the 12 to open up the 9. It's coming all the way down with the 10. And okay, I'm not sure if he likes it or not. Uh, straight forward, does he get to the four ball if he goes straight forward? He, it looks like it's he close. does. It looks like he comes, he, could, he might even come right between the nine and the 12 and play the nine in the upper right hand corner pocket. He's following this ball, I think. Or is he gonna draw over and take the angle? Following for sure. Yeah, right through there. And he did get the yep, hit. And sure did, he, did. Did he get? Sure did. Did he get someplace? Well, I mean, he can make the 12, and it looks like he might have to crash into the two. It's an extreme cut. Yes. It's an extreme He's, he's locked himself into it, unless he wants to try to play safe here. He could bank the 12. He could bank the 12, indeed. I think he's going to cut this ball and try to get into the 4-2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see you hold the cue ball there. He may put so much English on there, he'll miss the two. He might put so much English on there that he'll stop the two off, uh, stop it right there off the two. Well, that's what he's trying to do. Yeah. This guy didn't come close to the two, put so much spinach on there. Well, L bank shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think he makes this. Not an easy shot, but. I've said this before about Dennis, that his bridges are the most solid. It doesn't matter where his hands are. Hanger. <laughs> and he's jacked up of ha over half a ball and <laughs> just hanger, you know. I think yeah, any, everybody had a good shot at that, but his percentage was seemed so high. Two nothing. 2-0, and that is exactly why he's, uh, according to Fargo rate, that good. Uh, top number five in the world with an 811 Fargo rating as of July 16th. He, had, he, had a, he has an 810 here on the sheet that, that they used for the Calcutta that I've been reading off of. But on the world top 100, he's number five. I don't know what a Calcutta is, George. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> so let's get back to the action here. It's uh, again, Billy's using a stripe as the head ball. You know, shouldn't matter. But one of the reasons why I like to use a solid is I, I get to define the left and right edge of the of the top ball. Yeah. They're not worried about. It. He's worried about the center. Well, that's he's why. Right. That's why you define the left and right yeah, edge. And he's looking at the light that's right in the middle of the ball, and that's where he's hitting this ball, right where that brightest light is. He almost lost the ball over there. I think he needs to use a solid. The five ball goes. I think he'd rather shoot the low balls, but he doesn't have a decent shot at it unless the one ball goes all the way down. High balls look pretty good. Does the eight ball pass the five? 
To the left? On the bottom pocket, yes. Not the bot not the top pocket. Yeah, it looks it's there's enough space between them. I think they'll probably just go ahead and run out the high balls. Let's see his work here. Eleven ball next. And then the fourteen to come down for that nine. Uh, the fifteen then come down for that thirteen fourteen. Hold it. Easy. Oh, you went too far. Oh. Got on the wrong side. Well, it looks like he's queuing like he's okay. He can spin down if he has to. Oh, just stunned it down. See wow. what happens now. He's a little bit off angle. Yeah. Maybe he, does he have an, uh, is he thin enough that he can come off the two ball after the thirteen? <coughs> it or looks like he can just bump the thirteen. Mm, okay. Just hit it real soft. He'll brush across the top of it and shoot the thirteen to the same pocket. Or is he draw he's drawn back. Could draw to the five ball. Yeah. There, you know, it's so subtle. You hit the five ball, but if he hits it full, he's perfect. If he hits it on the left side like he did. He gets yeah, that. He's in trouble. Yeah. He's in trouble. Yeah, it all started when he played the ball up table, going for the ball in the side pocket. He needed to come up short, and yeah. he, he came up at an angle that he had to pound it and sort of lose his, mm. lose his position play. Yeah. We've talked about this time and time again. <laughs> yeah, ball in the side pocket. Tough. You got to get perfect. But he was forced to. You know, he was forced, yeah, forced to go there. To come down. There's only one place to play the cue ball, and he had to come down there, and the only way to get there was to uh, uh, put some juice on it, and he overamped it a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, he's kicking the 13. Got to touch it. Ball in hand. Nope. Nothing to do but run right out here. Uh, if you told me that, I'd ask which door. <laughs> but um, Dennis will make quick work of this. I'm, I'd be surprised if he doesn't shoot the seven ball first. There he goes. Take care and of those two. Yeah, now it's wide open. Mm -hmm. Got a little funny. Yeah, limiting himself to the two or the four, probably the two. Yeah, he definitely got funny. Yeah. They put a little bit of left on it. He's going to draw the ball. He's going to bump a ball here, isn't he? Yes, yeah. he is. You know, with, with ball in hand, you wouldn't <coughs> expect him to bump a ball at all with those balls wide open, but he had to at least once, and if not twice. You would think. Yeah. Different ways to play that. And he chose that way. Oh, I thought he was going to bump another ball right there. Well, is he straight on this six? Yeah, he's He'd rather not be. Yeah, well, he likes the six <laughs> ball. I, that if he had an angle, he, I think he would have shot the, the six ball for the three ball. It looks like he has just a hair of an angle to get on the three if he wants to. But he's playing the five ball next, and then the and then the the three. The three ball is yeah. the last ball. That's the tougher of the two last key shots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got to bump out. Well, he's, he's going to be on the cushion, he... but let's see where he draws this key ball. Right in front of the side pocket, I think. Mm. No, but he's all right. Another interesting wide open out. 3 0. It's going pretty, pretty quick Quickly. in the race to eight. And Billy Thorpe is kind of uh, letting it get away there. It's just that, just, just how easy that little uh, miss on the side pocket position yep. it, it cost him the game. And we're talking about since he had the actual angle, mm -hmm. half an inch would have been. 
No problem. Yeah. Suddenly he had no, a problem. He just, he, he just overran it by about an inch. And it made it tough. Could have just followed down real easy and it was tough. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. But we all know that feeling. Oh, absolutely. Three serving zero, Dennis or Coolio. He'll smack these. Uh-oh, lost the ball. Good chance for Billy to take advantage. Five ball, toughest ball on the table. Does the one ball pass? If the one ball passes, then the two ball gets to be the second toughest ball on the table. Good question. The screen answers. Can't tell. <laughs> Looks like it can. If it doesn't pass, he can. He's got ball in hand. He can take it now. Yeah. If that's, that's the ball he wants to shoot. If he shoots, looks like he's going to take stripes. What's uh, he? What's he looking to play here? Either, either. If he takes stripes. Eight ball goes. Ten ball. The nine ball is the top. If he takes stripes, uh, everything goes. He can play the fourteen. He can play the nine ball first. Yeah, I think the nine ball the, first. If he or, takes or the, the stripes. fifteen, and you know, it's easy. It's uh, not easy. It's just uh, that's the first shot. Okay. So now the fourteen is the one that he's got to take care of. At some point, he's got three ways to get to it. Keep going so he can get on this ball. He got himself in a little bit of. Well, he's got the he's 14. Got the he's 14. forced to the. Four, he's forced to shoot the 14. Now. Well, if he had ball in hand and he needed to shoot the 14, that's where that's about. A, well, he put it on the other side, but mm -hmm. looks like he can make this. I don't know what he's thinking now. 13 next. 13, 11. 13, 11, 12, and then the 10. No, he's going to leave the, no, he's playing, he's playing the 13. I think he's got to thump this ball. Playing for the 11 ball, I think. Yeah, he thumped it so he can play for the 11 ball. Or at least give himself an opportunity for the 11 ball. 12 to the 10 will be the last. He still wants 12 to the 10 to the last, as the last. Mm -hmm. I would hate to have to play <laughs> position on this 8 off that 12 ball. Yeah, but, but no, looks like he's that's forced what he's to do. because he, 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 he didn't get the proper angle that he was fighting for on the other ball in the side pocket, the last ball he just hit. Look out. Hmm. You got to get on the high on the on the high side of that edge as we on do your, it, right? As on your screen. It looks like he corner. can cut this ball in, miss the one ball. Just don't hit it too hard. Well, he went with the inside, and he's mm. going to get there. That's, that's work, but it looks like he'll get out. He wants to avoid the four. I think he wants to avoid the magic rack. Good out. He runs out. Unnecessary out. You don't want to go down 4 0 in a uh, race to eight on alternate, alternate break, break format. So he, um, he goes to work, puts his head down, and gets it done. And has the break. And puts the stripe on top. Is that the first time we've seen that? I, think I don't so. know. I don't think I don't I've know. seen anybody else do it. Maybe not this year, but I mean, he wouldn't be the first person. He's not going to be the last person to do that. And mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, it's his third break, and he's used a stripe every time, so he must be doing it on purpose. But take a look. He's making an illegal rack here, I believe. The two two corner two balls at the bottom. Together. Really, one should be a solid, and one should be a stripe. No one's going to call him on it, though. No, but. Really should be having those two as different. 
per CSI rules. How much of a stickler are they on that? On that, if you had a residing referee, would he say he, something? He would have said something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and great break if you are uh, stripes. stripes. Really clogged and up. And he likes the, the stripes. Yeah, just get on one he side made over one here on the break. Hmm. So there's one gone. <laughs> and he's got a shot on a stripe to begin with. So. Sure, and he's got a nice shot on the stripe to begin as with. As soon as we say that he's playing he's taking the two the balls. <laughs> well, you know, if he uh, if he pockets his uh, 11 and is able to get the cue ball down by the 10 to shoot that next, everything opens up. The whole rack opens up for him. And he's he missed it instead. Missed it. I think Dennis might take the stripes. Well, now what does the rack look like? Everything moved. It's been rearranged. <laughs> he's, he's folding that uh, carbon fiber. Uh, <laughs> Over his knee? <laughs> yeah. No, well, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, those balls moved down there, yeah. so now it's not so bad to shoot. He's taking balls. the solids. Feathered that ball in, and really the five ball, once he takes care of the five, it should be... No problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. My question with the five ball is there's only one angle to get to it. Off the seven. Or now. He's perfect on the five mm -hmm. if he wants to shoot that. It's pretty impressive. There was only one line and he got there, but then again, it's Dennis, so. Snatch back two inches, or if we'll go forward just for just to get that angle, right? The, the, the straight angle. He's got to make sure he doesn't get hooked on the 13 ball for that four, and then just come up for the eight from there. Pretty simple. I tend to uh, come short on that shot to get to the eight ball. Get all kind of scared of running out too running far. Too far, yeah. and then. <laughs> but that was uh, I would call that. Picture perfect. That five ball was really the key, and he had no problem finding the line right to it. Because from that angle, the seven ball, if it passed, it was awfully close to not making it. But didn't have to worry about it. Dennis is also now going to put a stripe on the top. <laughs> they break better that apparently way. Apparently so, apparently so. Oh, yeah, there you go, Dennis. You got to make sure there's a solid and a stripe in the bottom corners. I think you heard you say that was an Maybe. illegal rack. Maybe. Let's take a look at some of these other matches that are going on today. This match is uh, four to one, Dennis Arcuri over Billy. Thorpe. There we go. He lost the ball a bit to the one side last break. <laughs> oh, okay. Really fortunate. The cue ball was screaming toward the corner pocket as it got kicked, but there was a ball sitting there right in the corner, and cue ball hit it straight in the face, and cue ball didn't scratch. Does he have a first shot? From where I stand, he doesn't have a decent one. I'd like to give you an answer, but I haven't seen the table yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the two ball. Yeah. And it's not really a decent one. He's looking at three something 14. else. 314, is that what he's looking at? It's shocking. Oh my goodness, really? And lost the cue ball. Lost the cue ball. Well, well, Billy gets that. Other 3 p.m. matches on the winner's side. This is the third round winners. Shane Van Boning and Josh Roberts. Corey Duell and Eklund Kachi, Warren Kiamko versus Vilmos Foldes, Ronnie Alcano and Alex Pagulayan, James Aranas and Dennis Hatch Aranas, Oscar Dominguez and Tyler Steyer. 
The scratch by Dennis should not have been a surprise. He just cut the ball in. Forget about that being a combination, but he just cut the ball backwards like that, and it usually either goes to the corner pocket or the other side mm -hmm. if you don't do something. And it went like it had eyes, didn't touch mm -hmm. another ball, and I'm sure the rest of us have scratched like that 100 times. That's just this year. <laughs> No, I've only I, I, I've only scratched seventy six times. Seventy six times, huh? Okay, I've I got you beat. Play, I've only played seventy six <laughs> games of eight ball. <laughs> and then the last match, other than this one, is Omar Al Shaheen and Torsten Holman. Feels like this is another case where Billy played it in such a good position that he's got too many oppor too many choices. Some talent that has been sent over from the winner's side on the last match, on their last match, was uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey De Luna, Chris Robinson, lost her first match. Well, actually, it's her second match. Feels, uh, feels like Billy should go over there and see exactly what angle he needs, but they come up short, a little short. We watched uh, Alex Olinger. I was gonna say, he should be shooting this ball down table if it passes the two. Close. Yeah, I see. He, he went two rails around there, and it looked like there was at least a good foot that he didn't want to be on. And there, he's going to make this ball. He's going to slide this ball past the. He's going to sneak it past the two ball. Yeah, if he makes it and just stops the cue ball there, he'll be easy to the eight. Beautiful. Kind of like that. Yeah. Two rails going forward. Or one rail, and the guy can depend on what his angle is, I guess. One rail slide to the end. Just slide it. Get it over. over there. Move that magic rack, please. A ball's right on it. Yeah, and the cue ball this will be right on top skip. of it when it hits the ball, so. This could skip. He's not worried about it. <laughs> At that speed. There you go. It didn't skip. <laughs> Two to four, and he's got the break. 39 players in this U.S. Open. He's moving right along. I think so. A lot of people yeah. in here. Yeah, we do. I was about to... Or all the players playing right now. It's like a who's who. I see Warren Champko, sure. Oscar Dominguez, mm -hmm. Shane Van Boning, Plenty Cacci, James Aranas, Dennis Hatch, Torsten Homan, Vilmos Foldes. They're all just playing right now. Yep. Tyler Steyer. Tyler's playing uh, Oscar, I believe. Back to this. There's a nice shot of our sponsors. Don't lose the cue ball. Uh-oh, uh -oh, he got kicked down. He got kicked. I don't think I've seen a kick like that. That's brutal. That was That's kicked up brutal. at the second diamond way up there. Way up top of the table. And it just came right down the rail for the scratch on the bottom of the table. Wow. Ugly kiss. 12-1. Looks to be a problem. You probably shoot something that takes care of that right now. It's a tough shot. It is a tough shot. He's got to shoot that 12 ball all the way down. I think he'd, he'd rather shoot the 15 and break the, the 12 out. Which direction? Because it goes into the 7. That's where you want You just do it soft. Just barely nibble it, and that way he's guaranteed a shot on the 13. Well, he's he's going to go the other, the other way. way around. He's going to shoot the 6. 7. Shoot the seven. 7. Go into the 12-1. Don't get trapped on it. One ball's got to come out. And the ball that he... Uh, yeah. Oh, he still has the three ball. So. He said, I had various insurances oh, there. All kinds of insurance. Get out here then. I 
think he'll come back and shoot the six ball next after the shoots of three. As I look at this, now he's going forward. No, he that wasn't go forward. forward. It wasn't that forward, wasn't forward at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching his English, and apparently I didn't uh, read it correctly. This is a close shot, but he can see this ball. Slow down. The six ball is still a little tricky. And as you can see, if he plays the five ball, then he has to make good on the, on the six ball for the four ball. Not exactly something that amateurs were going to like to do. You have to be a little precise, but Dennis is Dennis, so we're going to see some precision. So much he's, oh, he's actually going to shoot the six. I thought he was playing shape for it, but he went up too high. Yeah. If he stops here, yeah, the position of the six ball is tricky. So much so he says, I'm going to mm -hmm. shoot for the six ball right now. He could have also stopped it, shot the one, and come into that same position, but it was easier to get there from where he, where he just was. It's going to be another non-standard type of eight ball out. This is going to be actually, it's going to be a tough shot for the eight ball. Yeah. Position on the eight is going to be tough from the one. Yep, and the 14 is huge for position on the one. Mm-hmm. Oh, he'll come by. He's got to. He's got to be to the left of the 14. How many balls is he gonna bump here? None. Well, if you had ball in hand for a line to play for the one into the eight or, or to the eight, this is it. Mm -hmm. One rail across to the third diamond, which is the one diamond next to the side pocket. Don't hit the third diamond. Goodness gracious. Put it right on top of it. Perfect shot. Good out. Well done, Dennis. Five to two. Mm -hmm. Let's see what ball he's going to put up here now. Another strike to nine ball. Of course. Ball. <laughs> he says, I'm going <laughs> to smash the nine ball. <laughs> Let's just smash the nine. Billy's on his phone. Yeah. Down five to three. Five to two, it looks five like. To five two, to two, excuse me. Three games is the deficit. My mind gets ahead of myself. Hmm. Well, Dennis had three games to go. He had a three game lead, and it's five to two. That's how I played the three. See? I see, I know, I know. <laughs> Helping you out there. Thank you. <laughs> He's explaining to you guys why I messed up. It said five to three when it's five to two. Dennis broke the balls pretty well last, uh, last time, but he got kicked very quickly, but got saved by another ball that was hanging in the, in the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. He's going to smack these right from dead center. Pretty much, pretty close. From dead center, the eight ball can actually move out. Ball on the side. Pretty wide open here. Wide open, does he have a hanger first shot? One ball's fairly hanging, but he does bump into a ball. And the high ball's here, the 10 ball, if you can see it, he'd probably play the 10 ball. Like Looks like he's going to play this 13 ball right by. He's playing the 10 ball. I was going to say he's playing 13 right by the 10. Is there room? Nope, that's easier. He could have come up a little higher. He would have been happier. Well, the 12 ball is actually doesn't go anywhere. I wonder what he, if he was thinking that he was going to play here so he can kiss move, into the 12 move ball. Move the 12. He, he has the angle to move the 12. What does the 13 look like now from the above the top view? It looks terrible. I think he can make it in the side if he has to. Bump in the 12, I believe. Look out. Suddenly it's not so wide open. Can you see the 11? Yes. Okay. Half a pocket. It's certainly not a full pocket. 
Nice. Oh, he's shot the nine. Wow. So he had a good nine there. No problem. Now we'll know exactly how this 13 sits. Let's see which side he plays Shea for. He says, there you are, 13. <laughs> Where do you go? So I find it funny that he's staring it down. Now? Now it had not mm -hmm. moved. It's been mm -hmm. sitting there since. Oh, <laughs> oh that's and that was his good. reaction, too. He <laughs> kind of looked over and go, oh, that ball's there. It must go in the side pretty easily. Or he can move it right here if he wants to. Well, that's true. I was about to say they would, he went too far, but and now he's going to end up shooting the toughest ball on the table as his last ball. 13? <laughs> yeah. He might be playing Shea for it. Let's see what he does. Boy. He could bring that cue ball against the rail below the 13 pretty easily. He's got a nice line to get there and lay it on the rail, shoot the 13 in the corner if it doesn't go on the side, yep. and uh, come back for the 12. But let's see how he decides to shoot this. What in the world? He just made it worse. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. boy. Hello, says the 13. Yeah, yeah. should have moved me when you <laughs> had the shot. That's a break for Billy. Big time. Well, it looks like he's got to fire this someplace. Side pocket or in the corner pocket? Side pocket or bank? What did he call? In the side. side. Oh, you couldn't get any better and than he this. Gets My goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just another day in the park. Huh? You know, it's out, what in the world? Is that a good explanation or example of his 811 Fargo? Oh, my goodness. Talk about a recovery. Just thump that ball in in a small pocket. That's some fantastic pool. My goodness. Six Scramble. to two. Scrambled well. Scrambled really Converted well. to a victory. And um, Billy's got to break the balls, but he's down by four games. His man needs two. His opponent needs two games. He needs six. I've been practicing my math, Freddie. <laughs> little lull. I feel like it's, things are going a little slow. How about some more talent that was sent over to the one lost side? Let's see who else was sent over there. Rob Sias is on the one lost side. Skyler Woodward is on the one lost side. He's sent over there by Omar Al Shaheen. Jeffrey DeLuna went over to the one lost side, courtesy of Tyler Steyer. Mm. Almost lost his cue ball again. And no balls on the break. Nothing looking good. 13, three and two are tied up. Six ball doesn't really go anywhere. How does he work it? Does the one go by that 12 ball? Yes, it looks, I mean, from, one, from my angle it does, mm -hmm. but from somebody else's angle it might not. So <laughs> if, he, if he chooses, if he chooses solids, that could be his opening shot because he opens up the, 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 he can open up the six and the four uh, with an insurance shot on the five. But what about this? Well, the deuce goes by, so that's a pretty, f he gets on the deuce, he can move the 13, the 13. get shape on the three. So um, he's looking around, he's going to decide. He could just open it up with that 13 three combo or the deuce. No. I don't see him shooting the two ball before the three. Now from there, from there is what I mean. He would shoot the combo first. Because he, 
he can take care of the, the three and the two here, come back for the one, stop it right where the one is, and have a shot on the six. Five, he's staring four. at the one right yeah. now. I think he's convinced himself that he can make the one and then play for position for the six. But can he actually shoot the 13? He I, I eyed it up. If he can shoot the 13, he probably will. He just want to make sure he doesn't lose the two. He can shoot. The, yeah, there we go. Do not want to lose this two. He's got a shot on the two. Yeah, but Side where's he going to go from the two? He's going to have to, uh, oh, the seven, the seven balls ball. there. Seven balls there. Yeah. yeah. He's looking at this 4-1. Because the 4 might go by the 1, too. If it doesn't, like I said, uh, m the, go by the 1 also. Oh. Just because the side pockets are bigger than the corner pockets doesn't mean they accept balls easily. He kind of fired that ball a little bit outside the edge. Billy with an opportunity here. He, he, didn't he didn't have to be coming back to the table. He needs it. Everything's open for him, though. Yep, everything's got a pocket. Yep. The 12's a little tricky, but there's windows and avenues to get to it. Well, what next? Yeah, which ball do you shoot, the 14 or the 11 next? If he's shooting this, he's probably shooting the 12 next. Bump mm -hmm. it. Yep. Got there. Now he'll come around the 10 for the 14. Or position on the 10, then the 14, either way. And then come down and take care of the two balls on the bottom of the table. Might he take the, the 14 to the side? I don't think so. I think he goes around them. I would think he's going around too, but... No, he he killed it for the for the side. I think this is tougher than getting on the ten. Just crawl forward, mm, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's and his insurance is the thirteen. That's a good shot. Yep. Well, it looks like he should should get out here. Well, if he doesn't get out here, he doesn't deserve the win. <laughs> Simple as that. It would be because he missed it, made a simple, you know, made a, made a crucial error. Well, he had to go around that five ball, but he should be able to make this and just come straightish across underneath the seven. Hair of like inside, but not much. Get off the cushion. Don't be straight. Ooh. It looks straight. Straight enough. Yeah. Straight uh, enough. Problem. See, even these pro players have a problem when they leave the cue ball against the rail and get straight in on the ball. He's going to have to, he's going to have to elevate and draw the ball straight back. Or can he? Yeah, there he's goes. elevating. And Don't draw it in the, into the pocket. Well, it's not in the pocket, and he's got a shot at this. Not exactly the easiest shot. Considering you're down six to two against a guy who just really isn't missing much, except for the one miss he just had. No in problem. In the pocket. Right down the rail. Nothing but net. Dennis seems like he's a little unhappy with himself missing that ball in the side uh, pocket. And he should be. <laughs> well, he was in the, he was in the, he was, he was kind of scrambling there when he got in those, uh, got in there and just a little bit of a tough shot. Okay, six to three. Well, he's back to putting the solid in front of the rack. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The four ball. And he's massaging it well. He says, be nice to me, ball. Smack him for me.
big break. Well, almost lost the cue ball again. And there goes the deuce. Is it going to the pocket? It did. Something dropped. Yeah. So he's got a stripe, a solid down. He's got two solids available, the seven in the side pocket and the four in the corner. You could also shoot the one in the upper left-hand corner on your screen. So that's three possibilities. Does he prefer stripes? If you prefer stripes, he might have a shot on the nine. Actually, the three ball's a problem. It's the only problem on the table if you take solids. Uh, the 14 and the 14 is and the 10 is a problem if you take if you take stripes. The 14 is no, no longer, longer a problem. problem. I like it. Now he's got no problems. The 12 ball. Yep. Is, is, does the 12 ball pass? Uh, it seems to. It seems to. So now it's either the 14 or the 10. Well, if he shoots the 10, he's got to hit it fairly slow because the cue ball will bump right into the three ball and it's heading right towards the corner pocket, blocking the eight ball. Yeah, so he shoots this ball and get in a better angle on it. That was the right shot no matter what, mm -hmm. never of consideration. If he has to bump out the 12 ball, he'll do it after the 13, coming from the other side. Sure. Total insurance of the 11 ball hanging in the side pocket. Expect a stop shot here. Stop ish, stop adjacent. If he goes behind the balls, he must go on the 12, not on the 5. He's going to go to the rail and, uh, and, and shoot the 12 on the side? That's well, kind of what he indicated, but I don't well, know if he will. He'll bump it towards the, the side because the 11 ball probably is, well, it's the 12 balls, the 11 balls the insurance, and he needed it. <laughs> Totally needed the insurance. Uh, can he actually see this 12 ball? I think he can. He's right. shooting, in fact. He's straight in. He's decided to use the 11 ball in the side pocket as the last ball. Yes, because he can, he, if he needs to, he can use the rails to get position on the eight and not just drop straight back for it. Because if he draws straight back for this, he could risk getting behind the six behind ball. The six ball. But he's drawn up. Uh, he takes the know, six ball out of play. That's right. By drawing, but by, by the angle he came at it, yes. I don't know if he can hold it there. He's not going to try to hold it there. Why wouldn't you draw below the one ball? Does he is he too sharp to do that? He must be because it he looks like it. It's it's an uncomfortable ah, okay. angle. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an uncomfortable angle. Well, then one rail across. That's going to get there, yeah. I mean, for the rest of us, that's not the shot you want to be taking in a four and a quarter inch pocket. For him, that's a hanger, I guess. But it, he did take a little bit more time than yeah. just a hang. Yeah. He, he gave it help. its due respect. Yeah, that's right. He focused. That's a good point. A really good point. Sponsors, Predator 1080 Chalk, Acme Cases, Cyclop Balls, Griffs, Bar and Billiards, produced by and presented by Q Sports International, U.S. 8-Ball eight eight Championships, U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. This is a Fargo rate powered event. It was seeded that top 16 players in highest Fargo scores were seeded in this turn in both uh, it's the first year for this. Is that correct? I think so. Yep. Uh, and the reason for it is they finally have a way to do the seeding. Thundered that one ball in. And the five. He's going to have a shot. Well, he's got to get it easy out here. This, the uh, high balls are, are wide open. 
except for. But he's made two solids. Well, that doesn't matter. You just take the ones that are runnable. You know, for some players, it does come into play. I only have to run five balls <laughs> to get out instead of seven. I gotta say that that's Amateurs. just completely the wrong way to look at it. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're, that was you're, my point yeah, that I was yeah. making. That was the it's point that uh, I was making. Oh, does this ball go by? It must, because he, he didn't even. He's not even hesitating. But uh, you're absolutely right, George. There are people who still think that mm -hmm. way, and you'd, mm -hmm. they've got to get away from that. Good shot. Get to the cushion. We got there, but it didn't come out. Yep. Nice. Well, he just needs to make this, you know. Yeah, maybe with the 14, 15, whatever ball that is by the eight or for the nine. He has, he can shoot all three of the balls, either one of them. Build that up nice. This is where I really think he just, just move that ball, then move the rack. And now he's short. These guys are not concerned about the magic rack. <laughs> but it's already happened once this, uh, at least, as we said, you know, there, mm -hmm. there, there was the hand gesture after the, someone missed sure. at the magic rack. If anything, that's uh, just in the way. Much needed win by Billy Thorpe. A much needed game. Staying alive. This man's on the hill. Yep. Our next match will begin at 5 o'clock in case Dennis completes his break and run. This is actually a lot, a little closer than the score uh, indicates. indicates here because, you know, a dry break and a run out by Billy, and he'll be at 5 and he'll be breaking. And Billy's made a few mistakes that if he, if he had just cleared it up, he, he might be in the lead. But then again, that's what this game is about. That's right. He who makes the least and runs the most wins the game. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Usually wins the game. Here comes the dry break. Well. Might play the 113 if it's wired. Because with the one and the thirteen, he's are looking at it close. Balls. That's exactly what he's playing, Fred. I know you've got him mic'd, <laughs> so you can hear you. So he can hear me. Yeah. yeah, it's close. If it if he has to throw it, it throws the right way coming from this side. But I can't tell if they're frozen. Balls don't need to be frozen to throw, but once they get to be about a quarter inch away, they don't really. It's tough to move them aside. Looks like it'll go. He agrees. He agrees. You've got to play position, though. Four? For where? I ten? guess the 12. No, the 12. I'm sorry. I thought that was a 10. Ten's on the bottom rail. Ten's the ball he's gonna, probably going to shoot next. Yeah, run right into the 11 yeah. ball. No, he's not going to run into it, is he? Looks like he should. <laughs> it, seems, yeah, it looks like no. he should, but he's not. And oh, my, my. That. Oh, Billy. A good yeah. opportunity there. Now what happens with the, is it the two ball? The two ball is, there it is, the two ball. If it passes the 12, it's awfully close. I believe the seven goes by. And it's a good view of the two ball not going, not going. by the 12. <laughs> not going. And the seven, no can tell. Because I think if the seven did go, I think, well. That was oh, the seven off the 12? Have. Yes. Or into the pile. Uh oh Now he's got to shoot the three in the side. Well, let's see if he can do any, any tickling. He's got an angle to come down. I think. Yes, he does. It 
Looks like he's, he's doing the five ball. I don't know. Is he moving? He is. He's playing safe. He is playing safe, and the two ball blocks both the 15 and the nine. If Billy wants to go crazy, he can play the 10 ball. Is going crazy and being aggressive sometimes the same thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. And Billy is playing safe. I don't think that's going to do it. Uh, he, he could. Well, what would it gain if he played the billiard? Coming off the five into the deuce. Yeah. What would he gain? Uh, so, now you get the two ball out of the way. Yeah. Five ball wouldn't be there. Uh, he's not guaranteed a shot on the one, but he could get a shot on the one, and then he would gain, you know, he would gain the game because the five ball is going to be out in the open. If you can get to the two ball, and five ball actually passes after the two ball is gone. Mm -hmm. If I shoot up table first, and then maybe play this seven ball, or oh, I <laughs> he's going to go. With, is he going to go with the one ball? I would think so. I think that two ball is still on his mind. But no, he's going to go. No, wow. He, he's going to get up. Is he going to get up here? No. He's playing the three ball. Everything is kind of difficult. Well, so. he, I think he's thinking that he can get to the two ball uh, somehow by using the one. Maybe open it up, or it's, it's a long way out. I actually. Wow, this is tough. Is there a window between the 11 and the 8 to get to the 5? That's what I thought. I think so. Yeah. Well, you sure. said it goes to the other yeah, pocket as, as, too. No, I'm saying that it goes into this the, oh, okay, by this the two. Pocket. If once the two gets out of her, but can you get the two? Is you know. And then do you play the billiard now? You know, because if you can make the two ball, like if you stop in the seven, you play the two ball next. I don't think he wants to do it. I'm not because see, I will say if he plays the billiard for the two, he's banking the the five ball into the eight. So it's going to go flying. Right. So if it, if it, if it goes, if the two ball goes, if you can actually make the two ball with ball in hand, then play the seven and play the, play the two. If the five ball goes without having to do anything, then the rack is solved, of course. Did he did give himself a sh shape shot on the five? It's he close. Didn't. Yeah, he did. Well, okay, maybe he didn't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, what did, this is. The safety by Billy has turned into an ingenious shot, or just a genius shot. I think that's even better to say. So you're trying to say it might have worked? It might have worked. At least it's put it in a position where Dennis has to play absolutely perfectly. He's playing the, is he playing the two ball? He yes, he's playing, playing the two, the two ball. ball off the five. And this is no good. It was a nice shot, but he didn't get a reward. He's going to have to plow through something here. Try to get around the eight. 
the scrap. Oh my goodness, this is in the pocket. Surely to goodness, that's in the pocket. Don't want to send the eight ball flying. The move by Billy proved to be a game winner. <laughs> I mean, it, th that didn't have to happen, but it was difficult enough. Subtle, subtle move. Yeah. I mean, he went from like 0% chance to win that game to almost 50%. Mm -hmm. And ended up with the game. 100%. Now breaking a run, we're within a game. That's right. And he's in business. That's how that's how close he is. It really wasn't all that far. The table's difficult enough. This is eight ball. Where both these guys have been moving. Little subtle moves as we just saw. I think that's one to watch over and over again, because both of them played a safety mm -hmm. into that corner mm -hmm. pocket. And they were both good. Lose the cue ball. Needing Still a ball. There. Whole that bunch did. of balls trying to go in. Four ball doesn't make it, and neither of those two balls have any steam. No really good first shot here. Let's see what Dennis is going to do. 5 11 look like a disaster. One ball is no good either. Yeah. Stripes. Let's see the stripes. He's got, uh, he can cut the. 12 ball down to the corner. Shoot the seven. He's doing something with his 13 ball. Does this 13 go? He must. He must, must be shooting it right in the pocket. No good. No He's, good, and guess what? He shot it right at the pocket. The 11 ball, if it passes, it'll pass after a few shots anyway, but if he shoots the 11 ball and it passes, this table becomes wide open. But that 13 looks like it's right in the way. Is it worth shooting the 11-13 combo? Maybe. If it doesn't go? Yeah, it's not worth it if it doesn't go. Yeah, no, I'm saying, yeah. If he must be playing it. Doesn't look like he can play it straight in. Watch out. He's fine. And those are the next plan of attack. I think he, he, he goes at those two balls there. Somebody, oh. oh. There's somebody down on the floor over there. <laughs> Gonna go with the 11 ball here. The only problem ball here really is the uh, one ball for the stripes because the one ball kind of blocks an area to get the eight ball. But I think Billy's gonna get there. Yeah. Playing for the 12 ball up table and come back down. Again, the one ball is going to be the problem. Mm -hmm. I wonder which ball he's going to use to move it with. If he moves, if he it. moves it at all, right? He may yeah, move he the might, nine. He might play around it. Or he just might play around it. Yeah, he might. He might get to the fourteen, play the nine, um, and then uh, the then the fifteen and shape on the eight, which means he has to move the cue ball around for shape on the eight. And he could be in trouble. Well, I think he's just going to play for the uh, 15 ball, uh, 15 to the 14 ball here, probably with inside English. Mm -hmm. And if it gets it's, it, that's good. He can stay and off the rail. And he wants to come down and be able to shoot the nine ball in the corner and bump the one ball with the cue ball and stay right there for the nine ball in the same pocket as the nine. I think that if you're a straight ball player, you're going to do that. But I think as a nine ball player, he's going to draw out to the to the side pocket and out. And that was a, it's getting sharked by a fly. That's traveling the cue ball could be risky. Oh, he's no, he's, shoot he's to the actually side, side pocket. pocket. Yeah. Because there's no way he's going to go two rails for the uh, corner pocket. Yep. He gets out here and he's going to be within one. This is, he's on six now. It puts a little pressure on Dennis. That was a very nice out. <laughs> Seven, six. And um, I believe Dennis will be breaking the, the balls. Looks like Dennis is taking a break. 
so we're going to take one too. Okay. back. Dennis is racking the balls. He's on the hill. Leading 7-6 to six over Billy Thorpe in this race to 8. Making sure he's got a solid in front of the rack <laughs> and a solid back of the rack. He doesn't but want any gaps in there. Back to the stripe on the top though. Yeah. Thinking break and run. There is some pressure here now. He's got to make sure. a ball on the break, 7-6. Billy looks like he's finally getting his legs under him. He doesn't want Billy to come out of the chair. Best place for Billy, as far as Dennis is concerned, is right where he's right at. Where he's at. Really Two ball is parked. Nothing's going to bump Nothing's it. Nothing's going to come close. Nothing's going to go in either, though. I mean, he so, racked that one and he hit him very solidly, but the balls really didn't come flying out. Billy's out of the chair. He's going to remove the magic rack. Uh, those stripes look good. So do the solids. The tough shot is the one on the solids. The one ball might pass. That it goes past the eleven, I think. If it does, if then it there's does, nothing then wrong. Not really a problem. Yeah. So that's going to be the key. He's got two shots to get to, to shoot too. He's got the four or the seven, or the. Well, I'm not sure the five goes. So the first shot here might be the four ball. Something hanging. We need the hanging ball. You want something easy to get easy shape on, and then just uh, take easy shape all the way around. Now, for the stripes, there's no problem ball. There's no problem ball except for he doesn't have a first shot unless he can shoot the nine uh, ball. I believe the 14 goes in the corner. Okay. We're looking right down it. I can see that he can make the nine. Okay. But he's not even looked at it. He's, this sort of tells us the one ball goes. Okay. If he can't land on the one now, he'll land there after the six ball. You know, or the two ball. From this angle and looking at that 14, it might not go. Well, so. it won't matter now. Yep, no, it doesn't. Not the, not the Billy. Matters to Dennis if he comes to the table. He's trying. It looked like he's trying to play for that one ball. It tells us it does he go. He didn't. He's coming so back now again. Now he's going to go for the deuce. He'll come back again for the, for the one ball. If he's thin on this too, I guess he's gonna go up table for the seven in the side. Somewhere up there as he's. Seven in the side coming up and come back down for this. Come on up there. Gotta make sure he's on the better good side of this ball. He's on the wrong side to come down. So he's got to stay on the bottom side of the three yeah. ball to play in the corner pocket. Decided to just smash. He 
He's scrambling. He is scrambling. Looks like he might have the right angle to slide over. He does. Go over for the one ball. He's scaring that ball. <laughs> no. He didn't come up He's high still enough. Scrambling. He didn't. might be forced to shoot the three in the side and go up and down. Wow. That's I think you're right, and that's a scary deal. Hit it with the pace to make sure that you hit the eight ball. Good. This is a tough shot. Yeah. This is a tough shot. I, I think I would rather I'd rather uh, hit this ball with speed and uh, accuracy and come between the eight and the one and use the bottom rail and come up off the bottom off rail. Off the bottom rail? Yeah, I think it'd be I think he's better served than try to keep my speed. Or just hit it so they're long and sure. Yeah, this one's right to the eight ball. Don't hit it too hard. Ease. He used your method. He used yeah. the eight ball to kind of stop it. He's okay. If it goes, he's okay. Um, so because you got to come to the end. Do you go to the inside of the? I, I do. I do. I try to go to the inside, and, and that way, if he if he hits the rail where the eight ball is, he hits the twelve, and he's got a shot. Let's see what he does. How unfortunate would he be if he hits, cuts this ball in, hits the rail, hits the twelve, and scratches? Well, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's a possibility. It would be grab. extremely unfortunate. Does he have another extension that he's putting on there? Longer, longer? Yeah. Something. It seems that way. Dual extension. He's got a Lego set for his cue. Only it's round. <laughs> Who knew that, you know, when they made those cheap five-piece cues? <laughs> that it would come. <laughs> it all comes back. It was just the pe the, the proportions weren't the same. Right, that right. weren't right. Do you remember one of those? My brother brought one back from Vietnam. There we go. In the 70s. It certainly looks like he wants to go around the eight ball. Mm -hmm. If he goes the inside, the, the right of the eight ball, the 12 ball, looms very large. Overcut this ball. And he didn't hit the, and he, he, he missed the ball, but he also didn't hit the 12. Uh, he went thin, so. Yeah, he, oh, so you overcut the ball, so. Had he got it yeah. thick, it would have gone yes. more to the left as mm -hmm. we view it, and then right to that 12 ball. That's really unfortunate for Billy because, well, I mean, the good news for him is that he didn't, I don't believe he's left a sellout. The bad news is that down the step of the table and probably going to play some kind of cozy safe, but the one ball's hanging, so. Uh, I don't think Dennis is going to be playing safe here. Uh, Billy's too good of a kicker. That's true. He's got a ball in the jaws. All he has to do is hit it. But there's no shot on the eight. Yeah. If he does that, so he's got to hit it, you know, with purpose. He's got a difficult shot on this. Uh, is it the? the this 14? fourteen. Yeah, for the side pocket. I think he's playing safe. See how safe that was. Safety coming up sometime because uh, playing over here to to, <laughs> not, to not the you know the one ball still there right. It's still there and he did have a shot on it so this is tough. He's got to play the the 15 in the corner pocket. This is a tough shot. Yeah. You can play either the nine or the 15 to the corner pocket. Well, he's got to just play this ball because if he plays this 14 or 15 all the way down mm -hmm. here, he wins the game. He can make the one and stop the cue ball behind the, the 915. Yeah, that's a better kick to Lee, right? Guess what, though? He did. He did. He got there. He got him. Jump shot. <coughs> Jump cut or kick cut. There's a fly on the eight ball, he said. And he wants to move that fly and move the eight ball. Well, he got it. <laughs> you can see all the other pros in the background there working. They were all playing. Well, it looks like he's just going to kick at this ball, maybe kick in the side pocket because the 12 ball makes something happen here. Into the side ball. Oh, boy. I like a real <laughs> shot almost, huh? Oh. 
All right, well, Dennis up at an open table. First shot is not a hanger. Certainly would expect him to make it, but it really is not a hanger. So maybe the safety. He's cutting the nine ball. Cutting the nine ball is right. And this is gonna tie it up. Uh, no, good, he's still open. On the hill, Dennis says. How straight is this ball on the 12 ball? I don't think he likes it. <coughs> could just play safe here as well. He could, but uh, he's going to give up a kick. Why is this getting worse and worse here? If he didn't shoot that 12 ball then, why would he shoot it now? He's forced to. Yeah, he can play it, safe behind the 11 by you know, you're just rolling up to the 13. He can, he can go for the 10. <laughs> Does he get Good a look shot? Look at this. <laughs> he gets a shot. He gets a shot. He's got to hit this one pretty, but he's, he's completely free to shoot this yep. ball. And he'll come up to the middle of the table to shoot that ball on the side, and then the, then the other ball, the 15. And life is good. Unforeseen, you know, any big error by Dennis. No. Maybe he'll go to the one loss side. It feels like he's going to draw straight back and play the eight ball in the same pocket rather than float forward, but yeah. And the concession gun going to come up? No, not no, surprised. A little surprised. Got some distance there, so no concession. And Dennis Oculio gets through Billy Thorpe and moves on in the winner's bracket. See you guys at 5 p.m.